No, mine was rubbish clap. I'm not very good at clapping. <laughs> So this is Channing Seagrave's bike. We're gonna go quickly through the specs. So you've got 203 mil rear rotor, Saint Caliper, Saint Mech, then onto the crank set, that's 165 mil with a 36 tooth chainring, Shimano chain guide. We come up to the cockpit and you've got your Saint levers, Saint shifter, Pro Tharsis 9.8 bar and stem. Let's now talk to Tani about our bike. So I'll be racing on the Transition TR11. Um, it launched last year. Uh, I was riding it all season and, and yeah, it's sweet. I'm pretty keen on, on custom parts because you know, it makes you feel that, that little bit special coming into World Cup. So I'm a big fan of pink and, and sparkly things. So I like my grips and saddle and, and the graphics that, um, that the team have done for us this year is pretty cool. Tell us why you've got the front brake on this side because for me and we're both british yeah <laughs> it's the opposite way around to how it would be yeah it is unusual for a brit to run it like that but um nigel page um hooked me up with my first bmx bike and he always ran his back brake on the right so that's just the way i think the american bikes came and that's just how i learned how to ride bmx so then when i went onto a mountain bike it it just felt a bit silly to then swap them around Okay, let's talk about your bar and stem setup. Can you tell mm -hmm. me the width of them and also the reach and the stem? Um, yeah, I run 760mm bars. Um, been like that for as long as I can remember now. I used to have them really wide when I was younger and it just it looked stupid because I was like out here. And on the reach, it's 45mm, but I was on a small last year, small frame. So we went up to a medium this year and we put a different headset in so that my reach isn't as long because I needed one between the two and I wasn't I wasn't happy with it with how long it was. So yeah, we've we messed around with that a bit, but it's finally at somewhere where I'm comfortable with. What does the Saint grip set really mean for you when it comes to racing? I think for me, as like when I was just a little girl and seeing everyone racing and stuff, it's a sponsor that I've always kind of wanted. So when we did seal the deal, for me that was just a dream within itself. But um, since I've been on them, been real reliable. My mechanic Matt loves working with it, and even when he's not there, you know, I can I can do it myself. So that's always something that's quite good for the girls. But yeah, as I say, real reliable, and I've personally never had any problems with it. So downhill racing really comes down to the sort of the minute details. Mm. Are there any really small changes that you make over the weekend that have a big impact on your performance come race day? Um, I think little changes, just like tire pressures and and like the position of brake levers. Those are really small ones, but they make a big difference. Uh, we mainly change the suspension setup. So luckily I've got Fox here, and and I can go over to them and tell them how I'm feeling and like what I think could improve my riding, and they're really helpful in that sense. So yeah, we do have pre-season pre testing and I've done a bit of that, but obviously all the tracks vary and they're all different, so that's the main thing that would change over, over a race weekend. So that was a bike talk with Tani Seagrave. If you want to watch more from Shimano, then make sure that you have subscribed. If you want to see more bike talks, then click just up there.